There is a character right now in Genji Impact that has currently gotten his rerun and in terms of this character, his weapon, his best in slot weapon can no longer be obtainable ever, ever again. Welcome back my Quackshnauts, my name is Space Duck, and today we're going to be talking about Albedo and the Cinnabar Spindle. So Albedo has been back for about two hours now, as you can uh, see here, his banner is recent, at least as of recording of this video. And essentially, if you don't know, Albedo, his last rerun was actually back in 2.3, so about a year ago, give or take, and he has this weapon called the Cinnabar Spindle that was basically made for Albedo. So this weapon is tailor-based towards Albedo's kit, etc, etc, which I won't get into too much detail here. But what I want to do cover here about this sword is that this sword is no longer attainable in Genshin Impact. So I'm going to kind of tell you the reason why it's not obtainable, and then I'll kind of give my personal solutions, and also solutions that are basically already in the game of how they can make it obtainable. Okay, so number one with Albedo, and the reason why this is obviously bad is that if you are a new player or maybe you took a break within that time frame of patch 2.3 you've obviously not have gotten that sword if you did take a break or if you're a new player which essentially means you can no longer ever get Cinnabar Spindle for Albedo so for future aspiring Albedo mains if you do plan on getting Albedo then you will no longer have access to the Cinnabar Spindle essentially with the Genshin Impact the events in Genshin Impact are quote unquote limited events and what that means is that if you miss the event you miss a lot of other stuff in this case Cinnabar Spindle so if you miss patch 2.3 then you essentially have missed this weapon that it was never coming back my personal opinion of why i think they do this is this is further instill fomo if you don't know what that means that essentially means the fear of missing out so it kind of gets you to keep playing Genshin impact and i guess put that anxiety or that fear factor in your head that if you don't log in during this patch you'll be missing out on x y and z so forth and so forth i personally just think it's more of another fomo tactic to get you to keep playing the game and that's really my main point of why i think it's in the game anyways moving on to the solutions of how they could have this weapon also alongside all the other weapons we got for free that are five we had a festival desire we had dota quick tales the mode oh sword eye there's a whole bunch of them i'm not gonna name every single one that we have uh in the game so far but there's a bunch of them that essentially essentially the point of this video is that i would like there to be a way for newer players to obtain those weapons or all the players that have taken a break during x patch that may have missed these past r5 free weapons that we're giving into the game all right so my examples of how genjin already does that so if i open up my menu here and I go to the shop. If I go to character outfits, if you can look up top right here with the official skin, the Ningguang skin, and the barber skin, these skins were given away in free past limited, quote unquote, limited events. Barber skin is in the shop, so new players that do want these skins can get them, so they're not like tied behind the event. I mean, yes, they are, you can get them for free during the event, but you can now get them afterwards for a small fee of 1680 Genesis crystals. I mean, it does cost money, obviously, but at least new players, if they do want to get these skins, maybe you're a barber man, I, I, I don't know who names barber but <laughs> maybe you're a barber main, maybe you're a Ningguang main, maybe you're official main. Whatever the case is, they at least have an option here, as you can see, to further get these skins and they're not fully tied behind the limited event. Out of the way, they already do this, and I'm not going to go to the NPC actually, but in Monstant, Marjorie, I believe she's the NPC that sells the souvenirs, so you can use your animal sigils to buy, uh, I think there's a prototype in there, and there's all kinds of other stuff that Marjorie uh, sells. She has these three gadgets, so this is back from 1.4 during the Windbloom uh, Festival event, and essentially, these gadgets just were tied behind the uh, Windbloom Festival, which you can now purchase from the majority NPC in Mondstadt. So these were limited time event uh, gadgets. So at least new players, if they want these gadgets, they have another option to get them. So essentially what I'm saying is it would be very, very nice if there was a way for newer players to get the Cinnabar Spindle, as this is obviously Albedo's best in slot. So newer players that may be coming into Genji Impact, at least they have an option to further get these weapons that were once in the game that are apparently never coming back. A way they could add this, or I guess put this feature into the game. One of the ways I think they can implement this in Genshin Impact for all the previous weapons, again, Festering Desire, Ord Sworn Eye, Wimblem Ode, uh, Dota the Quotails, etc, etc. One way they can implement this in Genshin Impact, in my opinion, is uh, give an option to the blacksmiths where you can actually craft these weapons. So whatever the crafting materials could be, maybe they could be billets, maybe it could just be basic white iron chunks, whatever the case is, I personally think, especially after the game being out for two years, give some other options for newer players that may want these old R5 weapons, especially when they're very, very strong for free to play. I feel like be personally really good for free to play players to at least have a chance to get these weapons so that is essentially the video so this is essentially the video for uh Cinebra spindle for albedo obviously again he is uh, now back in the game if you are a new player well i guess hoyo says screw off you'll never get this weapon ever again but uh yeah i really hope 
they do implement something like this, they, they probably won't. Let's be real here, dude. They, they probably won't. But it would be nice that they do have this option for the skins, as I've shown you earlier, and for our previous gadgets from Bloom Bloom Festival. But yeah, let me know if you guys think this should be changed. I don't see why anybody wouldn't. <laughs> but um, yeah, hopefully you guys all enjoyed. Like and subscribe, all the good stuff. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Told my brothers one day we gon' make it. We just gotta grind for that paycheck. Mama told me one day I'll be famous. Remember when she used to say she haters. That ended with life when I say shit. Now I'm inside all them people's playlists.